accomplish a hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner turns my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a salve to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought MREs. You're no fun. Fraser, incoming reinforcements. Figures. Hello. Brothers, where are you? Do it with. Ross and Fraser might still be here. Watch yourself. Another guy down here. Come out, asshole! Sign of them. Anything. Go check there. I'll look here. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, for real this time. You handled yourself on, all things considered. What things are those? No real combat training. Ah. Slightly impulsive. <laughs> Run around the field like a maniac. Need to learn what short, controlled burst means. All right. And lost. Wearing red in a jungle combat scenario. I mean, seriously. We're done out here. I'm beheading. Yeah. Look, for what it's worth, it's your kick-ass reputation that got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too rot. Not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Ugh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away to be done with Shoreline? I was born into it. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice. We dance. Try not to break it this time. Sassy. Taking it all in. <sighs> Welcome to downtown Halabadoo. Last known resting place, the Tusk of Ganesh. Spectacular. Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? It must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a 
watchtower? But that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person, then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Hullabadoo? Stands, but they're gone. Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. <laughs> Farmer stays down. Okay, ready? Huh? 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 Look for a way up. Apologies. Come on, this way. You sure it's safe? You know, you keep asking me that. It'll save us both some time if you just assume it's not. Oh, it's oh. Oh. oh, boy. It's definitely not safe, by the way. I saw. Think you can get back up here? Yeah. Keep going. I'll catch up. Only because you said, please. I didn't, actually. What you said Ganesh was the removal of obstacles. He's more than happy to place them in your way if he thinks you'll benefit. That why the horse and I chose him for Halibadu? He's also the lord of good fortune, the one you pray to for prosperity and success. Got it. That's cool. <laughs> is this really the only way of course? <laughs> yep. Thing I've ever done. They're doing great, China. Thanks. I'll be doing better when we get to the farm. Surprised we haven't seen the Sav yet. Knock on wood. Oh, he's around. Doubt we'll see him up here. Why is that? He doesn't have a stone to climb this high. <laughs> hmm. I think I see a place we can swing over to the crown. Just a little farther to go. Huh? Oh, 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 shit. Oh. Oh, thank you. Hurry up and climb. I'm slipping. Hmm? 
worth it. <sighs> Impressive. Yeah. <sighs> now, how do we get off this thing? He does it. Feels more sturdy up here. Don't change this. Here's our way in. Courtesy of the Persian army. Wow. Nice shot. Persians must have had a trebuchet. Trebuchet. Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? A trebuchet is a type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles like this one and fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia. Like a normal person. Ready? <laughs> After you. Yeah! Incredible. It's our old friends, Harasharama and Ganesh. Friends? Looks like they're fighting. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't off fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. Well, it's not a fair fight. Ganesh is even armed. I guess it's not really his style. Sure looks like it. You barricaded the door. Guess they didn't expect the Persians to drop in from above. You'd think after two prior invasions they'd be prepared for anything. Or they just never thought they'd be defeated. <laughs> Must be a way out of this chamber. <laughs> 